not a planner. Oh, that was. Sorry, I don't know what noise just came out. Hey fam, what's good? My name is Taylor Romano, like the cheese, but my friends call me T. Um, basically this week's video is a vlog type of deal. I'm moving out of my apartment in Eugene and um, going home for the summer. So, yeah, <laughs> let's get right to it. Hey fam, so it is very, well, it's 11 p.m. I was just hanging out with Tate and Gracie and Sienna for like the last many hours. We went and got a nice dinner, but um, I haven't started packing until today. And I was so excited to film this video, but <laughs> I was even more excited to pack apparently because I already begun. Um, it's not that much stuff. I just like had these wood boxes were like stacked on top of each other right there and that's really all I've done. It's just so hard to decide like what I'm bringing home and what I want to leave here. It looks like a disaster blew up or it looks like a bomb blew up in here. <laughs> just watching Olivia Jade, no problemo. But I feel like even though it's like very late in the game and it's when I'm moving out, I might as well give you like a quick tour of my room and it's very messy because I'm kind of just like pulling everything out right now so I mean usually looks a little bit better but at least you'll get to see like the layout you know I'm just walk in got my bed on the right and my desk and like this side table thing with the slots actually used to be underneath the bed like it came underneath and it's supposed to be like a shoe rack <laughs> but I didn't have like a bedside table so I turned it upside like on its side and I keep all my shit there and then I just kind of put random things in there like my tampons and my first aid kit and grocery bags um and then right here at the foot of my bed I have like kind of where I do my makeup it's really cluttered but this is also where I film videos if I film them in my room you'll see like behind me this is the background you're typically looking at because it's the most plain and clean background. These drawers, they actually come in twos, like this is one set and then below it there are two drawers and that's one set. Those also came underneath the bed when I leased the apartment, but I took those out as well and stacked them. I feel like it just like gave me more space to keep my stuff because I really I like really like putting things under my bed just like but I like having the whole like expanse up underneath the bed if that makes sense um oh yeah I like really needed a place to keep my books because I didn't really give us shelves so I got these like they're like invisible shelves or they're supposed to be invisible but I was too lazy to make them invisible um from Urban Outfitters and um they're really easy like you're supposed to drill them into the wall, but they're also really, like, they work really well with command strips. So I just command stripped the shit out of them. And they hold up a lot of stuff. Like, I think one command strip's supposed to hold, like, six pounds or something. I don't know. That's, it was on the box. So I put, like, ten of them on there. So it should hold, like, a toddler, you know? <laughs> All these fun posters. I got from the duck store. There's Santorini. <sighs> Visualize your goals, people, and you will achieve them. My closet's open. Like, I don't have a door. I hang, like, all my coats and, like, long clothes, like, dresses and stuff on this side. I keep, like, tops and, like, crop tops and tank tops up here on this top hanger. Down here is, like, everything else, I guess. And moving on. I don't really I think that's really all there is to my room. Like I don't it's still a small room. Larger than dorm for sure. But still small, you know? Yeah, so we're gonna get back to packing. You're gonna see me like really not know what to pack.
also you don't realize how much stuff you throw away when you move out like like you have trash everywhere and you don't even realize it look at all the receipts i have like trash Okay, so one box done. Check her out. Okay, so the next thing we're unpacking is actually like this plastic thing. It was originally the case for all of my bedding, but there's no way I'm gonna get it to fit back in there because <laughs> it was all like a vacuum suctioned in there. Um, most of the time, what I do, like what I did last year, was I just put all of my bedding in like a trash bag and then I bagged it back with another one the other way because like it's just too big done look at this i cut myself packing who does that like i'm not even handling sharp objects all right people it is oh i don't have my clock anymore it is 5 15 p.m on wednesday so tomorrow's my last full day here and i'm kind of stressed out because i have an article due tonight for one of my reporting classes and then i also have a history final tomorrow morning so i really need to study but um i really wouldn't be living up to my name if i didn't procrastinate so we're gonna pack instead I would have studied earlier. I actually did start my article. It's like halfway done. I started it this morning, but I was helping Tate move this couch that she's using next year. And we thought it would fit into another girl's apartment for the time being, but it really didn't. <laughs> We're doing great. Oh Got the couch back open. Oh God, do you smell that? Does it smell bad? I mean, it smells a little bit like car? oil burning, but... Is that the car? <laughs> Why am I here? So, instead of it being a one hour thing, it took like three hours. Um, so I didn't really get to study much. But that's okay, because I was gonna go to the gym anyway, and instead, I just lifted a couch for three hours. So, arm day done so yeah i still really don't know what to pack i mean obviously i have to pack everything but i just like don't know what order to pack things in so i think i'm gonna start with my clothes because there's a lot of those and i really have to decide which parts i'm gonna be taking and which parts i'm not gonna be taking okay let's get to it <laughs> that was so obnoxious why did i do that oh my god oh Yesterday was leg day at the gym, so I really um, am very sore. I can't very move. I can't even speak English apparently, but um, I can't move very fast. So, um, robe, I probably won't need because everyone else moved out. So if I need to go from my shower to my room, I'll just run naked. You know, I don't need a robe anymore. <laughs> that already took up so much room, shit. The thing is, is that I have another closet at home with all my summer clothes. Oregon stuff. Um, you can't buy duck ponchos at the duck store. You have to get this in Mexico illegally but good stuff, very high quality, wear it all the time, so highly recommend it. much better i refuse to turn on the fan in my room because then the audio would just be shit 
this is what my closet looks like now. It's like filled to the max. I almost got every single shirt. I'm just missing um, this jacket and then there's like a sweater and a t-shirt that is not gonna fit in here. We're definitely gonna need some more boxes. Um, also, yesterday I said that the only piece of furniture I had um, was the stool and that's true but I'm also realizing that I have a vacuum a dish drying rack a clothing drying rack I have a mop I have um, a Keurig I have a pan I have um, a pizza pan I have a pizza slicer I have a whole trash can two trash cans actually one for like a giant one and then like a desk one um, so yeah, and there's more. There's more on that list. Like I, I have a freaking ukulele that I'm bringing home. Why is this such a problem for me? I've run out of packing tape, so now I don't know what to do. Moving is a bitch. Oh my god, I just realized I have like all my pajamas and my socks and oh my god. I'm not like a planner. I'm more of a reactor. It was the same way in skiing. Like if I ever like hit a bump, I was not prepared for it, but I reacted really well and was able to save myself. Um, that's kind of how I am with packing. I'm not a planner. I don't really plan ahead. I mean, I did kind of plan ahead. I saved the only two giant cardboard boxes that were ever sent to me this year. So off camera, I was just able to get all the shoes I want to take home and my freaking ukulele into like the bottom like the underside of this bag I got seven pairs of shoes in the bottom of this bag so that's pretty good if you ask me okay people it is officially 10 p.m. I basically just have been finishing my homework studying for my final tomorrow and I ate dinner in the last well I guess it's only been like it's only been like two hours really since I finished packing all my clothes but we're gonna um get going on this teeny tiny little box um with some other random desk stuff I guess so stay tuned <laughs> Okay, so I'm out of tape, so now I really don't know what to do. Hmm. We'll see. Okay, so that was my last box that I have. I'll have to get some tomorrow at some point. But underneath my bed, um, <laughs> A mess right now because I've been pulling stuff out this whole time but this storage bin right here is what I put my clothes in last year and I've been keeping my shoes in it so I'm gonna try and rearrange these a little better to make some room for the clothes I will not be needing this summer and uh yeah let's do that <laughs> I think that is everything I'm going to fit in here. Okay. So, so far, we've done the duffel that I'm going to be taking home with me. This box I just did. This and this I did yesterday. And then I've done these three today. But, as you guys know, I still have a lot of stuff left. Let's take a look at my room. This needs to stay. The blanket needs to stay. The stool needs to stay. This whole bag needs to stay. Um, there's like two coats here and a backpack. Those need to stay. Swimsuit's coming home. Backpack. Mm, I haven't decided yet. 
hangers. I need to find a place for all these freaking hangers. Those things I need to pack up, all those things. I need to pack up the famous sign, the mirror, all the stuff on my, whatever it's called, my vanity, makeshift vanity. And then all of these drawers are filled with stuff. And then everything on my desk. And then my sheets. The sheets are the easy part though. Like everything else is like really high stress. Okay, we are on the hunt for boxes now. Oh, there's one in here. So there was a box, but it's like a food box, like someone who ordered food to be shipped to their room and it looked like something leaked. So I don't really want to use that box. So we're gonna go to the garage and see if they have anything there. Okay, so there's nothing really good. So now we're gonna go check every other trash chute on every other floor. Second floor. Nada. Fourth floor. Nope. Fifth floor. Nothing. Sixth floor. Seventh floor. Eighth floor. Ninth floor. Tenth floor. Eleventh floor. There's really nothing left because there's only one floor left. Looks like it was a lost cause. There's nothing more I can really do tonight in terms of packing um, at this point because I mean, I don't have any boxes. So I'll just have to go tomorrow and um, to, to Hirons or to the duck store and see what they have. I just got out of my last final like 20 minutes ago and I went to the duck store, picked up some boxes and some yerba mate because Right about now is when I take my nap for the day, so I needed something to keep me awake so I can pack. I think around 4.30, Tate is coming to pick me up in a zip car to move all my stuff into the storage unit. And um, that is how many hours from now? That is four and a half hours from now. So I think we can get everything else done in that amount of time. So I packed my other duffel bag that I'm taking home, this little Patagonia carry-on. I've never seen it look, get that out of the way, I've never seen it look so round. The only food I have left are Otter Pops, vanilla ice cream, eggs, and three frozen chicken breasts. I don't believe what I just found. Um, so when I went to go buy the boxes earlier, I also, returned my textbooks and I returned five textbooks and the guy didn't bother to tell me that there was a sixth one that I was missing. So I just found it hidden in a corner in my room. I don't know how it got there. Um, <laughs> but now I have to go to the duck store at some point and return it. All right, fam, I have some very, very sad news. Um, I just said goodbye to Tate and Gracie and I am so sad right now. They're like my family, you know, like in Oregon, those are the people who I spend every single day of my life with. So they're basically like my family. 
I'm also really sad because my room is empty. Check it out. Empty closet. Empty walls. It's wild. You guys didn't get to see me in the storage unit or moving things into the storage unit in and out so fast. We did it in like 15 minutes. But I didn't take you guys because we were moving so fast and it would just seemed really stressful to be vlogging that stuff, you know? I just didn't need that stress in my life. Um, so yeah, I need to clean this room and then um, put everything into place and go to sleep basically. All right, people, it is just past 10.15 and the apartment is spotless. Let me show you. So you've already seen my room, but like, let's get everything out of the way, you know. Those are all the drawers beneath the bottom. Look how kind of cool they look. Why didn't I do that? Hmm. Those are the things that I need to pack in my backpack tomorrow. And the walls are bare. And Let's go out into the actual apartment. Um, to my roommates, Lauren, Kristen, and Keely, if you're watching this, oh, this is all the trash that needs to go out tomorrow. But if you guys are watching this, you are so lucky that I am your roommate because this was stained with Expo markers so bad. I just spent an hour bleaching this. And um, I have to say, toothpaste, like a whitening toothpaste, works very well when removing Expo marker. So you're very welcome, because that could have charged a lot of money. And then I vacuumed the carpet, which no one ever does besides myself. Um, and I wiped everything down, cleaned out the vents, and so forth. Anyways. Thank you for joining me, fam, on this moving out experience. It was be stressful and um, I'm never doing it again. I mean, JK, I'll probably have to do it next year, but I'm gonna avoid it for as long as possible because that was so stressful. It was more stressful than finals. And finals actually has a um, impact on your future. So that's saying something. Yeah, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it, make sure you subscribe, smash that like button, and uh, leave a comment down below if you have any like packing strategies because there was really no methodology to what I was doing at all. I just kind of put random shit in random boxes and that'll be super fun to unpack in a couple months. So yeah, um, love you guys so much. I will catch you guys on Monday. Bye!